Okay, on these seavers, 123 and 123 odds, everybody on eBay gets them wrong. A 123 has an uphill valve adjustment. That's your 123. A 123 odd is straight out and they have a cleaning needle. Now watch out on some of these, one, this type here, 123R, they, when the 123 came out, they used the old burners till they were used up, and you'll find some tanks saying 123R, which they are not, because they use the old burners. They want to use up the burners, then they came, then there'll be a 123R. But I wanted to get that straight for everybody. Okay, I gotta, anytime you use these stoves, the Olympus 8R or receiver, always fill them three quarter full only. And after you shut them down and get ready to use them again, be sure and loosen the cap. That was a little tight. Because they'll create a vacuum. If they got a vacuum in there, they're not going to fire up. So you got to open them up, get the air back in. You have to have an air space, and they will not work right. And the, the best thing to do is always keep this away from you. When you use an 8R, don't stand in front of it in case that blow-off valve goes by. Always cook from this side like that. Now, this is a little... Nice cast iron frying pan. They work good. As far as lightweight hiking and backpacking and all that, as far as I'm concerned, for two or three days, one of these isn't all that heavy. I mean, if you're going for a week or two or longer, they might be too heavy. These here come in around a pound. I just said just a little over, so it's not that bad. Okay, I found a good wicking material. I really didn't find it. There's somebody else on the internet claiming he found it, but he did not find out about it. Skid Steer was the first one that introduced this, and it's really good stuff. It's a flame protector for when you do welding pipes and stuff. It feels almost like a felt blanket, but it's fireproof, and it works beautiful. Good wicking stuff. I mean, I've never seen anything any better. Now... I made me a stove, a little one, out of these candle holders, cut one off, and it'll hold three layers of that felt, and it'll hold three quarters of an ounce. So there's no darn use to have to measure it, just dump it in there when it's full. And uh, this rule book about a half ounce boiling 16 ounce of water, just throw it out. Because somebody says your water's got to be 60 degrees to do it right. Well, hell, where were you going to find 60-degree water all the time? you got to preheat it and then use a half ounce? Nah. I want three-quarters of an ounce. I know I'll do it no matter what the, almost what the temperature is of the water. And then if it don't use it all, you're not wasting that much. Jesus, Christmas, it costs less than a quarter to fire it up, probably. And I, I don't like the idea of having to measure a half ounce out. Just dump some in there until this is full. I know it holds three quarters of an ounce, and I know it will boil my water, and that's all that counts. So that's my two cents. Little bit, next next video I make, I'll make a little pot stand for it, fire it up, show the flame, and that's about it.